guys welcome back to my channel welcome back to a brand new vlog today i thought i would spend a couple of hours an hour or two maybe we'll see how we go browsing b&m first and foremost i might go to a couple of other places but that is my main port of call today which i thought you guys would enjoy coming along with me because i feel like b&m is one of those places that is quite interesting to vlog and see what's in store with them not really having an active website. I suppose a bit like a Primark or something like that. But anyway, before I do head out shopping, I have a sponsor for today's video very kindly. We've had a delivery. HelloFresh is one of my most exciting collaborations that I work on because it means I get to eat yummy food and provide an amazing discount for you guys as well to take advantage of. If you use my discount code, which I will leave in the description box below along with a link, then you will get 50% off your first box and 35% off your next three boxes. So it was actually delivery day yesterday for my HelloFresh. So I've popped the um, food bits away. I'll just show you how it arrives. They include the recipe cards. Now we personally get three for the two of us. This is the one that I had last night. It's essentially a chorizo topped mac and cheese with garlicky tender stem broccoli. And that chorizo bread crumb topper was incredible. So it really helps portion control your food with um, no waste, essentially. It makes the perfect portion sizes for the two of us. And it also takes away the hassle from having to troll the supermarkets and try and decide what you want for dinner that night or that week, because that is one of our most asked questions. When we don't get hella fresh, it's a case of saying, what are we having for dinner tonight? I don't know, what do you want? I don't know, what do you want? It's just never ending like decision making question in our lives. So HelloFresh just removes that, makes it super easy. You can log in each week that you get your box just to select, make your selections from the um, choices that are enough for that week, or you can just be surprised. They also have additional like lunch options, dessert options, brunch. I did actually get a brunch option this week. So I went for a smoked salmon bagel, cream cheese bagel, which I've already had. I'm not gonna lie, that's gone. It was delicious. Can you see Barney fast asleep there? We went on a really long walk this morning, so. He's cream crackered. He's gonna sleep the whole time. I'm in B and M. In our household, I'm sure you guys know Tom's usually the cook of the kitchen. He likes to take the reins, but with HelloFresh, it makes it super easy with the step by step illustrated steps for you to follow with all the breakdown of the ingredients, the nutritional value, the time it takes to cook. It's just so straightforward that I can be the chef. So I mean, I made my own roux yesterday with that mac and cheese. Who knew I could make a room? So thank you to HelloFresh for kindly working with me on this video and of course giving you guys that discount code to take advantage of. Make sure you do whilst it lasts. I will leave all the information and the link in the description box below which you can click through. Shop, use that code, enjoy. Let me know which meal choices you go for. Let's head to the shops. Let's get my coat on. I'm still at the stage where I feel like I need to say let's get my coat on just because it's not quite warm enough. I think that's because I've been on an all long walk though and I'm back now and I'm a bit like, oh, I could just grab a nice coffee and a couple of biscuits and sit on the sofa. But um, maybe I'll treat myself to, to that when I get back from B&M. B&M usually have some yummy chocolate snacks. And also I've got a couple of things marked down that I want to keep my eyes peeled for that I've seen on their Instagram. But anyway, let's get on the road and I'll see you guys when I get to B&M.
Well, that was i'm gonna say a success i feel like i got a couple of bits that i needed to get cleaning product wise and also for the dog like it's so good if you've got a pet i feel like b m is now the place that i go if i need to stock up on some bits for barney so got loads of bits for him and then um just some random little bits i've got a good sale find as well which i'll show you obviously when i get back i think i might go home now i was gonna potentially go and have a look at another couple of shops however i do feel like it's actually warmed up a bit as well i'm quite hot in this coat i know i said i didn't i needed a coat but i don't need a coat um what was i saying god i'm on such a tangent i always do this whenever i edit back my videos as well i always am editing a part that i know i was saying i was in the flow of a conversation and then i ended up getting distracted and switching it and then thinking oh you never went back to what you were gonna say uh so anyway i'm just i'm all delirious oh i know what i was gonna say i was gonna say i was going to go to a couple of other shops maybe but because it's already nearly two o'clock i just feel like um I need to get a lot of stuff done with the house today and um, also catch up with my emails. So I just feel like it's actually getting on. The day is getting on. So I have actually just come via a personality, so I thought I'd pop in. I've seen on their special buys that they've got quite a few like homeware dupe and makeup dupe items at the minute. So, can't even really see me with this light. Let's have a look, see what they've got. What is that? <gasps> what is that sock? How have you found that? <gasps> Barney. <laughs> what is this? What is this? Is it yours now? Is it yours now? Right. I feel like I might as well share with you the bits that I picked up. We might as well. Um, I won't take these two upstairs just because they are pretty heavy. Right, Barney. Um, this one, which is a repeat buy from last year for Mr. Barney Man himself. He absolutely loved that cooling mat last year. And I've just got visions of it selling out in summer. So um, I also got in this. I mean, there's a golden on the front. Now there was one at 10 pounds with a golden on the front, which I picked up initially. And then when I saw this one, this larger one at 18, I was like, right, okay, so that's, False advertisement putting a golden retriever on the small one because he probably wouldn't even fit in it. Mind you, he'd squeeze himself in if he could. Anytime that there is water about, in fact, I'll put on screen a photo, it's quite funny, of when he went to doggy daycare last. Oh, I said, <laughs> I said doggy daycare. He heard me. Basically hogging the water completely. Not letting any other dogs in because he was just the water pup. As soon as they got it out, he was straight in, laid down in it. This tiny little paddling pool. He just loves water. He went for a swim this morning as well, didn't you? Didn't you go for swimmies this morning? Yeah. It's a nice big walk today. Oh, are you tired? Right, anyway, let's take up these bags. Oh, yeah. Gosh, they're heavy. Heavy, heavy. I didn't end up picking up anything from Aldi. I did have a look down the middle section and there were a few nice bits. Things that I was tempted for, but nothing blew me away, you know? So, or anything that I really needed. So one thing I did actually get from Aldi are these sardines. I like to pop these on 
Barney's food every once in a while just to, they're good for their coat and he loves the taste of them. Oh gosh, this is gonna be quite pet heavy actually. Let me just whiz through the pet stuff. I got this boot cover. I do already have a boot liner which I got from Amazon at about 15 pounds. This one's only 9.99 though. And it has little hooks that go on either side whereas mine go over the seats but then they don't hook in in the corner so this side panel bit just falls down all the time. I'm gonna try and use this and hope that it works. Got some treats for Barney as well. He seems to like these markies. I just put these in a white little treat jar that I've got downstairs for him. And then I also got some dense sticks. He's not had these in a while. I don't think they're necessarily that great for them but it's a treat. There's no added sugar, minty fresh. So bought them for it. And then I've seen that Vamoosh, I use their pet hair dissolvers within the like bedding and towel wash for the dog stuff to dissolve the hair. But also they do this new washing machine cleaner, which also has that hair dissolving technology in. I also saw these, I thought these were quite handy. A set of three at five, no, six pounds from Beldre. And they are essentially three different recycling bags. So just to be able to, uh, pop them I think I'm going to put these by our back door just kind of in that like old pantry utility type area so that we can have them inside for taking them out to the recycling they're wipeable they're wipe clean so this is the white one which is glass I quite like that simple image as well and then the dark charcoal one is paper and cardboard and then last but not least plastic and metal in there so yeah i thought they were quite good and then what else did i get oh this was actually a sale find i've shown this in a video or a tiktok i quite often do like my shopping bits on tiktok nowadays so i forget what i've shown on youtube and what i've shown on tiktok or my like instagram home reel so I saw this recently before Easter and I was like, mm, do I want it at six pounds? It's cute, it's nice. I like the fact it's made from straw and there's no sort of like whoa garish colors. It's just neutral. However, I was like, mm, I don't need it. We're not gonna decorate with it this year. We're not gonna decorate at all this year. So anyway, Easter came and went. They've been reduced down to three pounds and I just feel like I'm going through my back room and there's a couple of bits that I'm putting away in an Easter decorations box i thought you know what i'll just get it now that it's been reduced i might as well get it now and put it away for next year because next year when they bring it back out it'll be back up to full price no doubt so anyway i also got these these are new to their cleaning sections from the natural home range that they've got i don't think i've seen this natural home range before i think it's new two pack of large cellulose cleaning sponges at £2.50, washing down surfaces or like spraying down surfaces that maybe have a bit of dirt or grime that need a bit more of an abrasive touch to them. And then these are two, oh no, a three pack of jute cleaning pads, multi-purpose, non-abrasive and non-scratching these ones are. Um, Eco-friendly, sustainable fabrics and I just thought I would try them out. I mean, I had a recent clear out of my under sink cupboard and cleaning products and now I know exactly what I've got. It's quite nice to buy additions like this and you may have seen in that video, it's a, a few vlogs back, but anyway, that I've whittled all my cleaning products, cleaning cloths and stuff down to neutral ones. So it actually, I mean, I don't want to toot my own horn here, but my cleaning sink, under sink cupboard, cleaning cupboard, actually looks quite aesthetically pleasing. Looks nice. Um, which I know some people think is crazy. So well, let's move on from that. I got these Pringles, a nice little snack. I've seen these new passport flavors, New York style cheeseburger flavor, and then they had an Italian pizza flavor. Should we give it a try? Limited edition. I mean, I'm a good old cheese and onion, or no, it's sour cream and onion, isn't it? Or something like that. The, the green ones, the green Pringles, they're my favorite. I feel like I bet 90% of people, their favorite is the green ones. Let me know if you're like the red or even another one, the blue, let me know. Yeah, see, I eat these. And I'm so used to eating the green ones that these are completely different and I'm not used to it. Hmm, they are good though. I'm not really getting the cheeseburger. Tastes good nonetheless. I also got these yummy treats. 
B&M have so many like foreign products in the treat section, like Australian chocolates, American sweets, all sorts. So they have a real variety of like unique chocolates and stuff that you don't find just in supermarkets or whatever. So anyway, I got these Milka Dime. Now I love Dime Bar, love Milka. That combines the two. I'm gonna say this should last me over two or three days. However, I'm feeling like I might open this tonight and I'm not sure if it's gonna last until the morning. I also picked up these, I'm gonna have one now actually. These Starbucks refrigerated drinks, you, they are in the fridge section at B&M. So I am gonna pop the other one back in the fridge. Which one should I go for? I might go for a cappuccino. I think they're the same calories and everything. They're, yeah, they're 70 calories each. And then a couple more cleaning products that I got. I got another stock of, of my 1001 Carpet Fresh in the Pet, Thai Orchid and Passion Fruit. I go through that far too quickly. And then I also got these. These are the new Zaflora wipes that they do. Now, these are biodegradable. They're 108, a pack of 108 large wipes. What a random number. Imagine going to the buyer and saying, we don't want a pack of 100 wipes, we want 108. I wonder how that's come to fruition, but anyway. I got the Lemon Zing, but they also do the Midnight Blooms one. I know that's quite a popular scent for a lot of people. I personally am more of a Lemon Zing kind of person. That's one of my faves, especially in the summery months. Then I've always said Lenore Outdoorables need to do a bigger container because I get it get through it far too quickly. I know it's ultra concentrated and you only need a little bit. I end up just putting in basically double the amount that you need to. So the little ones that they do, I do go through quite quickly. This one says 76 washers, but again, I do use quite a bit. This smells so good. I think it's probably my favorite smelling fabric conditions that outdoorables i do oh, that is so good i do really like that new spring edition one that they brought out as well though uh but anyway moving on i also picked up this and now this is quite hard to come by it's just a lime juice but we've got some tequila 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 and i love we both actually love a margarita especially a frozen margarita in summer so um even if we just go for like a tequila soda lime little cocktail over the summer months we tend to outdoor dine quite a lot in the warmer months tom just has his barbecue lit 24 7 essentially so i'm always on drink duty and we usually tom will have like a beer or we'll just have a soft drink or something but i thought let's switch up and go for uh, some tequilas this year um so yeah when i saw that lime juice i was like oh i'll get that now whilst i remember and then last but not least this is probably the worst item to end on i'm not gonna lie sprats <laughs> to put on barney's food again it's kind of in addition to the uh the whole sardines it's just really good for their coats getting that omega-3 in he likes the taste of them they look vile I'm not going to say any more about them. So that is everything that I picked up from B&M. Let me know which was your favourite. So I didn't go overboard in terms of like home decor or anything this time, obviously. Mainly because I'm just at that place with the renovations that all my money, my spendos, my spare cash, is going on the renovation purchases. So that's things like radiators, showers, shower trays, toilets, tiles kitchen cabinets for in the utility. That's the forefront of my spending at the minute. So obviously all of that is within my renovation vlog. So stay tuned for them. I am gonna be doing them probably a little bit more often as we lead into um, the development of the extension, especially the basement's also nearing, I'm saying nearing completion. Some people will look at it and go, it's a building site. But for me, compared to where it's come from, I'm like, we're so close like buying all these bits for the basement now is making it feel like it's so close to being done i reckon a couple of months no more than that so yeah that is where we're at with that i hope you have enjoyed watching this little b m trip and coming along shopping with me it's always nice to bring you guys with me and show you what's in stores without you needing to leave your sofa which is fab i get to bring you with me and you get to see what's in stores so i um 
tend to do a lot of videos like this if you are new to my channel so if you do subscribe it would mean the world to me and do thumbs up this video if you want more B&M hauls in particular. Thank you once again to HelloFresh for very kindly working with me on today's video. Don't forget to take advantage of that discount code. All the information, the code, the link, everything will be left in the description box for you to use and yeah thanks to you guys for watching it if you've made it this far and I hope to see you all in my next video. Bye guys!